Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be reviewing for you the So White Bath Bomb. Uh, now this bath bomb is getting discontinued. If you are interested in what I have to say um, and you think that this bath bomb might be something you'd like to try, please make sure you go to your local Lush store or website and double check if they do have some in stock. And if they do, do not hesitate, definitely buy some if you can. So this bath bomb has sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, soy milk powder, titanium dioxide, bergamot oil, Brazilian orange oil, rose absolute, orange flower absolute, uh, neroli oil, and some other little bits and pieces. So in terms of bath bombs, it's definitely one of the more simpler um, ingredients lists definitely has a lot less ingredients than a lot of them do. Now this um, bath bomb is scented in the So White scent, scent family. It's also called Once Upon a Time. I think Lush are moving more towards the Once Upon a Time uh, name for the scent family because of obviously, um, you know, people are becoming more racially sensitive um, and not wanting to offend, um, you know, racial groups and things like that. They are going to be removing that um, name from their range, I'm pretty sure. So that, that's all it really is. It's just a name change. So if you see any products um, labeled once upon a time that used to be called Snow uh, So White, that's what it is. It is the same sort of scent, just to let you guys know. Uh, now, this bath bomb is, yeah, the, the scent family of that, <laughs> better get into that scent family um, itself. So the scent family itself is characterized as being sort of like crisp apples it's sort of like um the smell you get when you bite into a fresh granny smith apple you know it's it's a little bit tart um it's a little bit sweet but it is very fresh and you definitely get that fresh apple smell from it primarily that is pretty much what you're going to get from it um and i love this scent family i think it is one of the most underrated scent families at lush um, I almost put it in my top five scent families video recently, but it is definitely my top 10, 100%. It's definitely in my top 10. Um, and this bath bomb was pretty much as expected. You know, it had a very nice, strong, crisp apple scent, which I love that. I love when Lush do the bath bombs in a very strong scent. Um, and the bath water was white, you know. Um, it was sort of cloudy. I'm guessing that's from the soy milk powder, and that was a deliberate choice to make it more powdery. I mean, not powdery. Um, white, you know, cloudy, yes. Um, and I liked the soy milk powder because I think it actually gave um, a softness to the water as well. I actually felt my skin was quite soft afterwards when I did get out of the bath. So that was quite good as well. Um, so yeah, definitely it's one of those scent families at Lush that when you read the scent ingredients, it is nothing like what you think it's going to be. <laughs> Absolutely nothing like it. Um, so yeah, it is one of those things with Lush that you know, if you can get to a store, please do. If you can't, you come on the internet and you watch people like me review them instead <laughs> to give you the honest slowdown on um, what the scent is really like. Uh, but yeah, I really love it. It is definitely a five out of five product for me. Um, and yeah, I wish I got more before it left uh, Lush Australia's website. I think it has officially left the website um, and I don't tend to shop in stores. Um, so yeah, that, that was kind of disappointing for me. But Oh, well, you know, it was nice while it lasted. You know, you always have your memories of your good baths. So, yeah, well, at least I do anyway. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Please stay tuned. There will be a demo at the end of this video and also a showing of the bath water or the end bath water after it's all dissolved and everything as well. And be warned, this bath bomb actually um, split in two not long before I was going to use it. So you will see I tried to keep the bath bomb together um, while putting it in the bath, but it just split up just like that. Um, and it sort of plonked in the bath. So I apologize if I give you a little bit of a scare at the start of the demo. That's what it is. So scare warning. <laughs> um, and yeah, until next time, take care and I shall see you on the next video. Bye for now.
So here is the water of the So White bath bomb. As expected, it is white. <laughs> Creamy, milky kind of coloured, which I don't mind at all because it does fit the name and the whole concept of the bath bomb. Thanks for watching.